North Dakota has two paddlefish populations, and both are in the Missouri River system. One that exists above Garrison Dam, uh, in, into the headwaters of Lake Sakakawea, and that's where we have a recreational uh, snag fishery. The other paddlefish population we have in North Dakota is what we call the Oahe stock of paddlefish, and they exist between Garrison Dam down to Oahe Dam. Paddlefish between Garrison Dam and Oahe Dam, also known as the Garrison Reach of the Missouri River, spend the majority of their time in Lake Oahe until the urge to swim upstream to spawn becomes strong. In all likelihood are, are, are fish that were entrained through Garrison Dam. There's no evidence of natural reproduction occurring in the Garrison Reach. Before 2006, not much was known about the paddlefish population in the Garrison Reach of the Missouri River. Over the last decade or so, we devoted quite a bit of effort to try and learn more about this paddlefish population that exists between Garrison and Oahe dams. Uh, the paddlefish are a species of conservation priority for us, and throughout most of their range in North America, they're not doing very well. So it's important for us to learn more about this paddlefish population to make sure uh, we're doing what we can to manage them appropriately. Bailey and his crews target paddlefish in the Garrison Reach by using large gill nets that float downstream as fish swim upstream. We boat over to these fish, uh, untangle them as quickly as possible, uh, get them into the boat, weigh them, measure them, uh, put a bird band style jaw tag in these fish, we release them unharmed. Biologists have learned a lot about this paddlefish population. We estimate in the river at the time of sampling that there's about uh, nine to 12,000 paddlefish, uh, typically in this area just upstream of Bismarck. And that usually represents about half of the fish in the population because neither male or female paddlefish typically return to spawn every year. Bailey says paddlefish feed on zooplankton, which are at the bottom of the food chain in Lake Oahe. Paddlefish are also a good indicator of the overall productivity of Lake Oahe. When zooplankton is abundant, paddlefish are fat and happy. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.